Today on GEN, find out how teachers stack up against local law enforcement on the court, check in on the spring sports games, and get the news of upcoming events as the year winds down. GEN starts now. Golden Eagles, I'm Nora Duenas. And I'm Mercy Calvo. You probably noticed the new portables being moved in near the staff parking lot, but you may not know who gets to move into those new portables and what they represent. On the outside, they may seem ordinary, but on the inside, they will hold the classrooms of the future. ACE Academy students will be in the portables and will be enjoying the classrooms they designed themselves, created to serve a changing population in changing times. Ace Academy senior and design contributor Lily Taylor is excited about the classroom becoming a reality even though she won't be attending any classes in them. You can expect to see different styles of seating. You can expect to see couches, bean bags, yoga balls, balancing boards, tall tables, small tables. The purpose of the different types of furniture is to provide different abilities in different ways so that way you can learn and listen to the teacher in the classroom. So yoga balls is for people who like to, you know, bounce. The couches are provided to allow people to also be more comfortable. And so when we designed the classroom of the future, we decided to make things different and allow different types of learning abilities to be able to thrive in the classrooms. Desert Hot Springs High School teachers and local law enforcement faced off in the Books vs. Badges game in April, where teachers won 67 to 62. We have that story for you next. Winners train and losers complain. On Wednesday, April 10, students came to the gym to watch their favorite DHSHS teachers school the Palm Springs Police Department with a score of 67 to 62. It was Christina Velasquez's second year playing as one of the starting five. Second year doing the books versus badges, and uh, this is my second year playing and second year starting. Antonio Rodriguez, the soccer coach, was out of his element for this good cause. The experience was amazing, it was fun, it was a great team activity. Uh, if It was very different, you know. I'm definitely out of my normal area here. Uh, I did score a free throw or as I called it, a goal, but it was pretty awesome. I think it's a great event because it was a charitable event, so it helps us you know, acknowledge suicide and suicide prevention. So working hand in hand with that organization uh, was amazing. If you weren't able to watch the other Hot Springs High School teachers school the Palm Springs Police Department, make sure to come out next year. I'm Amia Johnson reporting for G-E-N. I am Oprah. And I'm Dr. Phil. Just, Just kidding. kidding. I'm Daniel Gibbons. And I'm Kayla Napolandres. I'm Lauren Milan. I'm Shane Tate. I am Dustin Jones. And I'm Yesenia Vasquez. I am Tyshawn Jones. And I'm Noemi Rodriguez. Today on GEN, we bring you tips on surviving the summer heat. Today on GEN, we bring you strips on surviving the summer heat. <laughs> <laughs> Chicken strips. No, I don't eat meat. <laughs> in this last game of the season, the Golden Eagles defeated the Rancho Mirage Rattlers with a score of 4 to 0. In this last game of the season, the Golden Eagles destroyed those Rattlers and ate them for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, I'm Karen Devine. Do you have what it takes to become the next great fly swatter? Oh, you got a fly on you? Uh, yeah. I'm Lexus Jones. I'm Major Pacheco. I'm Esmeralda Diego. And I'm Lauren Duenas. Being an anchor for GEN has made me more open and social. Um, and also made me more recognizable uh, in the hallways. Uh, I would be walk w walking in the halls and Someone would run and be like, hey, you're the guy from GEN. And I'd be like, yeah, that's me. I'm Lily Verdugo. And I'm Lily Camacho. I'm Vincent McDonald. And I'm Efren Flores. Being an anchor has been of use to me because it gave me the confidence to be more social and even seek a prom nomination. I'm Laura Duenas. And I'm Mercy Cowell. See, you have what it takes. There you go. 
Do you have what it takes? Auditions will include coaching from special guest Karen Devine on May 21st at lunch in room 605. If you'd like a sneak peek at the script, ask Miss O'Neill in room 612. So Mercy, how do you feel about someone taking over your job next year? I feel pretty great about not being here for another year. And I know there's some real talent here at the school and I'm sure the right person will be sitting in this chair for 2020. Spring sports have wrapped up their season with softball ending their league record 3-13, to baseball 5-9, to and tennis 4-11. to Swim, track, and tennis also had individuals make it to CIF. A full stadium turned out for the annual Juniors vs. Seniors Powder Puff game despite the wins that night. The audience were able to enjoy churros, hot dogs, and tacos as well as the intense game. Overall though, the class of 2020 did a great job. You guys really put effort into the game and it showed on the field. Here's the game in case you guys missed it. We don't stop when we're tired, we stop when we're done. The annual Powder Puff game took place on April 5th at the Eagle Stadium. Seniors and juniors battled it out on the field for an intense game, but it was the class of 2019 who brought home the win once again with the score of 14 to 12. The class of 2019 and 2020 boys also showed their support to the girls by giving a halftime performance to help pump them up for the second half of the game. Offensive player Yahaira Castillo knew that this year's game would be tough, but was satisfied with the score that her junior class ended up with. I think that it was definitely hard. Like we knew you guys were gonna be good. We knew seniors were good. Like you guys won last year, but I feel like we weren't scared. We went out there and we gave it our all. And even though we didn't win, I'm really proud. For the first time ever in Powder Puff history, the senior and junior teams had to go into a 15 minute overtime as they ended the game with a tight score of six to six. After both teams scoring another touchdown, it all came to an end when the juniors dropped the ball at the two-point conversion. Cheerleader Mariano Turan was filled with excitement as he participated and hopes to come back next year to watch the class of 2020 play again. The juniors were amazing and they really showed off how much time they worked on their routine, really poured out their heart out in the field and it really showed. This concludes the 2019 Powder Puff game with the seniors taking the win for the second year in a row. Make sure to come out next year to support your new seniors. I'm Nora Duenas reporting for GEN. Do you love sports? Yeah! Do you want to go to college on a sports scholarship? Yes! Would you like to play on a pro sports team? Yes! You don't have to be an excellent athlete to love sports. There are more jobs off the field than on it. Can you talk about sports? GEN is looking for a sports anchor for 2019 through 2020. We need someone who loves sports and knows about sports, who can attend games and tell us what happened. Do you have what it takes? If so, we want you to be the new face of Golden Eagle Sports next year. Anchor auditions for next year will be at lunch on Tuesday, May 21st in room 605. If you'd like a sneak peek at the script, ask Miss O'Neill in room 612. On April 11th, the tennis seniors played their last game against Coachella Valley. Senior Eduardo Contreras made it to CIF for his singles match for the third year in a row. I want to say that this year has been really amazing with all my teammates, each and every one of them, even though sometimes some of them can't go to all the games, but I'm hoping that like we keep a close relationship between each other because they're all very cool and like I'm proud of them. They did a really good job. They put like all their heart into this game and they're a pretty good team all around. So it looks like your spot will be filled too, Nora. Do you wish you could stay? No. <laughs> I mean, it was fun and everything, but... Yeah. You know, yeah. GN really wants someone who loves sports to sit in this chair next year. If you like attending games, talking to the coaches and team members, and then talking about the games, come audition on May 21st. Meanwhile, between now and May 21st, there are a lot of activities on the schedule. Let's check in with USB. Asia, what's happening? Good morning, everybody. My name is Asia Maxby, and welcome back to GEN. Today, we have our college commit day at lunch in the theater. We also have our senior scholarship awards night, invitation only, May 21st at the theater. We also have grand night coming up May 22nd, and seniors, don't worry. There'll be no school the next day for you, so you guys can go home and recover. Don't forget the codes are live May 4th at 12.01 a.m. Our senior week begins 
Monday, no school for Memorial Day. Tuesday, the senior sunset at 7 p.m. Thursday, the step down rally. And Friday, our senior checkout and our party. That's what's happening. Dang, Nabbit, I don't want to be alone on the grad night bus. Let me call Octavius. Hey. Octavius. Hey, how you doing? You know, I'll be doing me. <laughs> Have you signed up for the grad night bus yet? Make sure to sign up as the same one as me, okay? I'll text you which one when it's time. Uh, no, I totally forgot about it. It's at 12 a.m., right? Okay, say this. Yeah, okay. Bye, love you. Bye, love you. Sign up. Don't forget to sign up tonight or you'll miss a chance of sitting with your friends. Bus forms open up at 12 a.m. First come, first serve. A tale as old as time, it's finally here. Prom, at the Hotel Zoso, from 8 p.m. to 12 a.m. The final week to purchase prom tickets is May 6th through 10th. Ticket prices range from $90 with USB punch and $95 without. The 2019 yearbooks will be arriving in two weeks, so this is your last chance to get them at the $75 price in the student store. They sell out every year, so get them while you can because once they're gone, they're gone for good. Well, that's a wrap for us, Golden Eagles. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Golden Eagle Network, and we'll see you in two weeks. I'm Laura Doñez. And I'm Mercy Cowell, and we're signing out for G-E-N.